All right, what's going on everybody? Travis with REC Garage, and today I'm working on the 46 again. Pretty soon I'm gonna have to keep this thing. I'm doing so much work to it. So, got the ass end up in the air. I uh, got jack stands under it, jack stands under the rear end, and also a jack under the rear end. I am putting in two inch blocks. Nice, easy, simple get the rear down a little bit lower. It was too raked. It was almost like this, like just ridiculous. So two inches lower in the rear and we'll see how the front looks. I might want to raise the front up a little bit because the bottom of the fender lip is literally to the top of the rim. So it's not that I have a problem with low cars, but all of that stuff, including the tranny pan is pretty close to the ground and that's not cool. Um, so, might have to go up a little on there. Um, yeah, I've been uh, putting some windows together, put the quarter windows on here, you know, put bolted the seat down. That's on some uh, angle iron right now. So, you know, getting things buttoned up slowly. It's all new under here. I got that one block on that side already. I gotta unbolt those and do that. But also, uh, where'd it go? Oh, here. Here it is. So here is the shock mount for the rear. I'm gonna cut this off and put it where it actually needs to be because right now the way it sits in there the shock is like at a wicked angle i'll show you on uh, the one on the passenger side so see how that bushing is there that's not that's not correct that's not the way it should be so i'm gonna just cut the stud off and when I reinstall it, I'll slip that through the shock so everything's happy the way it needs to be. And I will tack it in the angle that it needs to be on this plate. Um, the rear apparently was like a mix mash of a couple different kits. Uh, he was a street rod builder and he built a lot of these. So I think he kind of just put whatever he had up there. It's all new, but... It must not have been the correct one for this car, but I'll make it work. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So you saw me just cutting this ear off and you're like, what are you doing? What am I doing? Okay, so Put them back to back This one had the swoop Here and this one had it Here it like came in and it started back here. So I'm gonna bring this up to here have it match this one because when I was under there this side fit a little better than the other side so I'm gonna stick with this so this angle here was actually straight and a curve down here but I literally just took a hammer to it and made a curve that way and it fits pretty daggum good so I got the angle of this guy here so 
when I put this here, I can make sure after I tack it that it's the same degree and we're all happy. So, easy peasy. Let's uh, get this welded up and then start messing with the angle of these because if I didn't do this, actually, the main reason, if I kept it here and just moved this out, I'd only be welding to a little piece and I have to like fill this hole with something and it would just be kind of hacked. So I just moved it forward so I didn't have to move this forward. I just have to mess with the angle. So let's tack it up.
All right, so I got the car on the ground. As you saw, I pulled it out. I pulled it back in because I want to do the rear exhaust pieces now. Um, you know, I think I explained that. But it hits the floor. It was made when the body was off, so didn't really know. It's fine. Fix it. Should be easy. But uh, the two-inch blocks worked out pretty good. Wheel well goes just below the top of the white wall, which looks nice. Um, if it doesn't sell uh, soon, I'll probably get uh, different front springs with a higher spring rate and cut them to fit. I'll get them tall and cut them to fit so it's about the same. Goes up to about the top of the uh, the white wall, if not a little lower, like, like this is here. Because that it's just a little too low in the front, unfortunately. But I got the seat. I got these side panels in. And I got the seat, the rear seat in. So I'm not sure. I haven't actually... Actually, I... Ooh. Okay. I got the rear seat in. I don't think you can sit on... I know you can sit on the bottom, but I don't think you can rest on the back. Uh, because it's only really held in. It's kind of on these lips here. And... I'm not too sure how uh, how secure that is. So I'm not going to have anybody sit here. If anything, it's just going to be my son. Uh, but until, I, you know, I, I fix some things. Because I can see there was something about here welded on. And I know something. This latched on to something. So it had to have, uh, had, to have had a brace back here, but it got cut off. I also put one latch on. I got the wrong hardware, and I only had one of these uh, door checks, but works. Just need the other side. That's about it. I'm going to go uh, do the exhaust now. All right, so I've been doing some busy work a little bit. You know, putting the garnish moldings on. I still want to paint this one red. You need to go to the store and get a quick can of the red oxide, paint it red. That one is red. But it's like some kind of patina red. It looks cool, so I'm not going to touch that one. Um, I put on the visors with the, you know, they're the convertible ones with the clamps on it. The center grab, got that on there. The other side. Um, put the handles on for the wing windows, you know, cool stuff. What else? Um, if I didn't show you guys already, door shuts. I only have one of these. Uh, convertible door catches and it's only held on by one bolt right now too it's like barely on there but um so the convertible ones there the bolts go this way on them and normally they go this way so you can't even just I have a set of other ones from a 30s car but you, you can't use them because they'd be facing the wrong they'd be like flipped up so you got to use convertible only it's kind of sucks because it's weird why they went with this design rather than the normal I don't know uh, you saw the seats in it's pretty much it but I did I have been working on the exhaust I didn't record that because it's underneath the car while I'm doing most of everything and it's you really can't see anything but these are the two halves back halves that go over the axle and out the back the driver's side i i got finished i modified the pipe underneath and i modified this pipe and what i did as you can tell i didn't cut these bends all the way after and i welded them as you can see i didn't have to weld all the way around because i didn't cut all the way around so I had to open this one up and close this one. So, cut on the top here, opened it up, 
If it wasn't enough, I took a blades width again, opened it up, blades width, opened it up, blades width, until I got where I wanted to. Same with this side. Uh, cut a blades width in, bend it in, wasn't high enough. Cut it again, cut it again, cut it again, cut it again, you know. Just get it so they're touching, and then cut straight through with the bandsaw. I'll kind of show you on this one, because I didn't do this side yet. You see the uh, the difference in band angle between this one, it's tighter than this one. I don't know if you can tell or not. Yeah, you can tell. See the opening here rather than here? If it was the same, it would follow it. So, slightly different. But, um, so the pipe inside. So say this is the uh, this is the side view of the pipe, and this was the one that's left in the car. The way it was going on track was to hit the floor. The floor was like uh, say this, so it was like gonna hit the floor, and there was a bend. I don't know if it came down like this or up forgot which one it was but I had to cut it and move this one down so it didn't hit the floor and if I just did that and attached the pipe the exhaust would be pointing straight down at the ground not straight down but you know pointing at the ground so then I had to adjust this one make this less of a curve so it would bring the pipe up and meet this at the same time. So kind of open these two up so they'd meet each other but still miss the floor. And then it wasn't quite enough so I had to cut this bend and bring it up some more. So that's pretty much what I have to do to this one. So check the car back up, put it on stands. And I think because they're both pretty much the same, I am going to cut these two bends to match this one, tack it, not weld it, and then modify that one on the passenger side to fit this pipe here. So I think that's a plan because I already kind of know how that one needs to be modified about, you know, about. So let's do that first. The exhaust is back on, modified. Uh, it's hard to tell. Like I said, it's dark in there, but it clears everything now. They both come out the same angle. Who knows, might need to be modified with a bumper on there. I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter. Somebody can fix that or I can fix it later. Literally, a simple cut on the bottom, angle it down, weld it back up. Easy peasy. So, right now, one is longer than the other. From the frame out, this one's 12 inches, and from the frame out, this one's like 13, 14, so 
marked it at 12 all the way around. Then I'm just going to cut it off, make them even, um, and that's it. I got, well, I went to the hardware store, and I got all new hardwares for the shock mounts. And, you know, they didn't have 5 8 18 nuts. They were cleared out of everything. Grade 5, grade 8. Everything was cleared out except for the chrome ones. So I got chrome, chrome nuts for the bottom, which, you know, it's a nice touch. At least it's not the top ones where you can't see. At least I paid some money so you can see them. Um, yeah, so exhaust is done. Shocks are mounted um, for good. So really, chassis fully done. Eh, maybe not. There's mounts. See here. Those mounts there that were welded on the pipe. Um, he did it with the body off and no bumpers on. And the mounting hole he used for that bushing um, is a bumper bracket hole. So we can't do that. That's not going to fly. So I'm going to have to cut those off quick weld them back on and there's a, a hole on the bottom of this rear frame rail here um i'm gonna, just going to use those so uh nice and simple they don't get used for anything else so i'm going to use that that's a simple cut off and weld back on won't take long and yeah eventually i gotta buy some more primer and paint this hood but uh it's kind of the same color, just weathered a little bit. So, you know, might just leave it. Yeah, not, nothing really too exciting, except for it is just getting closer every little step. I should go on, uh, CW Moss website and get the other latch. I'll probably replace both of them. Get the latches for the doors so both sides can shut. Um, replacement seals and stuff. You know. I don't know. Or should I even spend money on this car? Nobody's biting on it so maybe I should. It's kind of odd that no one's biting on it. It's really clean. I feel like if someone just came here and looked at it they'd be like oh oh okay. Yes, I'll take it. But nobody seems to be showing up, so I'll keep on working on it. Alrighty, I think that's it for this video. Didn't do too much crazy stuff, but you know, it's only a Tuesday video. I mean, Thursday. Loving the way this thing is sitting. Front, obviously, like I said before, could go up a smidge, but man, this car's cool. Um, exhaust is done. Seats are in, all that jazz. Man, like, I only need a radiator and some hoses. Tune the carburetor. And I can drive this thing down the road. I don't know what's stopping me from getting the radiator and hoses. Because, like, the amount of money I've spent on uh, little hardware... And like the little miscellaneous stuff I've been buying, I could have bought a radiator already and just had it driving. But, I don't know. Maybe I'm just scared to have a project that runs and drives and stops down the road. Um, I don't know what it is. Might be psychological because the radiators are not expensive. Maybe I should just do it. I don't know. I don't know. 
All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, clicking the bell, sharing the videos, all that good stuff. More to come on the 46. Not so much, so just a little bit more buttoning up. Literally, like I said, just a radiator and the hoses. And I should be able to just drive this thing wherever I want. We'll see. Um, 36 is done from the blasters. Need to pay for it and go pick it up. Um, what else? I think that's it. See you in the next one.